All right, I haven't done one of these full self-drive uh, videos in a while. It's somewhat dark right now, so let's see how this goes. All right. Go. Wait for it to get the red and yellow lines. And then we should be good to go. Usually it waits until I get past these little raised bumper thingies. There you go. Alright, it's handling it really well. There's a car here that might be about to go. I'm surprised it didn't slow down more for that. It wants to take the freeway. I'm going to actually take the local roads. So I'm going to stop the thing and I'm going to actually go to the right. Now turn left onto Jacqueline Road. pretty good again there are a um, few times where in traffic and other cars it doesn't know how to predict it too well so it'll wait until it has to kind of slam the brakes which I really don't like it's changing to the left lane I should probably speed it up because people are probably gonna want to go faster here uh, it's okay Let's see, is it gonna, okay, it's slowing down already. Good. Not bad. All right, let's go again. There's a bunch of uh, cars up there with their red lights, so it's probably going too fast for this. Let's see. Well, it turned green. Okay, so I made it. Now it doesn't really need to slow down. We should speed it to 40. Stopped 
it early. I felt like it was too close to the curb, so I kind of pulled it away. I didn't want to risk curbing my wheel. Turn off. Wake up. For some reason it wasn't going up to speed, it was, I had to turn it off and turn it back on. Lights red, slow down, slow down, okay. Yeah, it slows down a little bit too hard, but it's not bad. The car actually gave the cyclist a lot of room. It actually went onto the little yellow pumpy things, which is nice for the bicyclist, but um, he had plenty of room. I, I would have just been really close to the yellow things. I wouldn't have actually rolled on them, especially since there was counter traffic. <laughs> then you end up scaring the other, the counter traffic. But um, for, in terms of the cyclists, they'd probably be like, yeah, that's really nice. Moved out of the way. was going a little bit into the right lane and it realized it so it signaled to go back into the left lane so that's good okay. it actually does really well All right. in 500 feet turn left onto great wall drive Now turn okay. left onto Great Wall Drive. Okay, not bad. Okay, good. So one thing I noticed, um, the, I don't know, I've been mentioning it before, but the infrared camera here, when it, at night. Whoa, buddy. Oh my God. Now turn right to stay on Great Wall Drive. So it didn't see the lane, and then it suddenly saw the lane, and it did like a hard turn into it. Okay, it's actually doing this quite nicely. Um, the speed limit In here is actually feet, not 25. Your destination oh, will be God. on the right. So we're not allowed to be going that fast in here. So it doesn't know that the speed limit's in... Uh, it doesn't seem to know that the speed limit's in uh, parking lots is like 10 to 15 miles an hour. It was going like 25. Now your destination is on the right. Okay, should I just park here? What's that? There's a yellow one there. Green, I guess. Is this a special parking spot? I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't park at this one. I'll park at the one in front of it. Because there's a, there's a yellow um, cement bro block thing there, so I don't want to risk that being. Yeah, let's go over to this side. Uh, it doesn't do a tight enough turn, so. I'm gonna have to like do this. I have to do a Y turn. Now I'm at risk.
risk of getting door dinged by two cars. <laughs> okay, anyways, that's it. I'll see you all when I get back. Alright, here we go again. beeping at me. Leave me alone. <laughs> like you're slightly over the lines. Turn right on to South Main Street. Oh, I can't do it yet. I waited too long. There we go. for merges it doesn't signal it just cuts in it just goes that's interesting I don't know why I mean there are no cars next to me to alert that I'm merging but it's good practice to use your signal when you're merging over okay, it's just gonna drive into all these popples I guess so when it gets to another one I'm gonna yank it out feet, turn right onto North Eagle Street. Now turn right onto North Eagle Street. Nice. Go, go, go. It's your turn. Go, go, go. It's really taking its time. Go! What are you doing, boy? 
cat to push the pedal. You saw how much hesitating, how much hesitation it was doing? It's way too much. <laughs> okay, why? No, why? Stop it. Stop. Wait, I want to see what, what it was saying for the reason. I think it's too late now. Says changing lanes to follow route. No, 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 you don't. No, you don't. Stop it. You don't need to change lane yet. Stay on the inside of this curve. <laughs> you can change lanes after all these turns. brakes a little bit there which it shouldn't have needed to do at all bit of the turn. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Alright, now. Yeah, perfect. It's perfect. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Also, if it says to apply slight pressure to the steering wheel, um, I've mentioned this in the past, but you can actually just scroll the wheel on the thing, and it will it'll know that you're paying attention. So it says apply in slight. If I move the thing, turn left onto so I change the speed, drive. and it stopped blinking. So yeah, you can do that too. Right. Now turn so left onto North Hillview Drive. So it should slow down way sooner. No, it should not use the brakes there. Okay, I guess um, if I speed it up a little, when a stop is coming, I should slow it down earlier. Because it, it doesn't know how to calculate the difference. will be on the right. Okay, and we're done. Let's 
pretty much it. Now we'll see you all in the next one. On the right. Bye.